Grand Review Channel presents the 5 best digital camera. Let's get started with the list. Starting of our list at number 5. If you wanted a professional quality full frame camera it had to be a Nikon or Canon DSLR. But Sony has changed all that with its mirrorless A7 series cameras, and the A7R2 is its highest resolution model. Its 42.4 megapixel sensor is second only to the 50 megapixel sensor in the Canon 5DS for resolution, yet the A7R2 is only two thirds the size and weight of the Canon. It has a high resolution electronic viewfinder and 5 axis image stabilization built into the camera body, and the full time live view that's integral to the mirrorless design gives Sony's A7 series cameras a real advantage for video. Here is some of the photos taken from this camera. At number 4. Nikon has always been among the best digital camera brands and typically has done a great job of offering intermediate to advanced DSLR cameras. One of the best options and best values in the market this year is the Nikon D5500, which is why it's in our list of best digital cameras. This DSLR makes use of the popular F-mount from Nikon, which will give you a large collection of lenses from which to choose. It has both an articulated display screen and a viewfinder, which are handy features. Even though Nikon really hasn't aimed the D5500 at the lower end of the DSLR market, it remains a very easy camera to learn to use, thanks in part to a touchscreen display. Best of all, the D5500's image quality is outstanding. Here are some of the photos taken from this camera. To see all the stuff check out the description underneath the video and click the link in the description below to claim your discount. Halfway of our list at number 3. If you like the look of old 35mm film cameras, the retro-looking Fujifilm X-T10 is a great option. There are quite a few dials and buttons that not only look cool, but they also provide a handy means of changing this mirrorless ILC's settings. Fujifilm gave the X-T10 a powerful and fast autofocus system, which is going to achieve accurate focus results in many different types of scenes. This intermediate model has a viewfinder and a high-resolution LCD, allowing you to frame the photos in the manner that exactly fits your needs. And although the X-T10 has only 16.3 megapixels of resolution, which lags behind many of the best digital cameras in 2016, it still creates outstanding images. Here are some of the photos taken from this camera. At number 2. The G3X from Canon offers tremendous versatility, thanks to its 25x optical zoom lens and its relatively fast performance. Image quality is much better than what you find in a typical large zoom, fixed lens camera, which means you'll have no problems making large prints with this power shot camera. Because the G3X has a large number of features that outperform the majority of large zoom lens cameras, this unit is one of the best travel cameras currently on the market. It would have been nice if Canon had found a way to include a viewfinder with this model, but it's still a very strong camera. Here are some of the photos taken from this camera. And coming in at number 1 of our list. This Canon DSLR camera continues to build on the past strength of the highly popular Rebel line of cameras, which are among the best digital SLR cameras ever created. Those photographers looking for their first interchangeable lens camera will appreciate how easy the T6i is to use versus some other intermediate level cameras. The T6i offers almost 33% more resolution than its predecessor, and the difference in image quality is noticeable. Having built-in Wi-Fi, a viewfinder, and a display screen that can tilt away from the Rebel T6i are very desirable features. The Rebel T6i probably isn't powerful enough to appeal to advanced photographers, but it fits well in the intermediate market at which Canon is aiming. Here are some of the photos taken from this camera. To see all the stuff check out the description underneath the video and click the link in the description below to claim your discount. Thanks for watching our video. 
for more. Subscribe to our channel.